Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about something that Apple did. Uh, in case you are a blog reader or you might be hanging around on YouTube, obviously you might have seen this, that Apple recently apologized. And not recently, just actually today, because it wasn't done in the night and we got the news early in the morning. So yes, Apple did apologize there. And in case you are not aware about the situation, what is going right now, uh, somebody posted on Reddit that Apple is downgrading the performance on Apple devices with the new updates that they are pushing onto their old devices. And it was not kind of an unknown fact for us. In fact, everybody knew it that somehow the Apple devices got slowed down over the time. And I faced the situation over my iPhone 6, iPhone 5, iPhone 6s. Uh, so yes, it's an issue that we already knew, but nobody just addressed it properly. So this guy on the Reddit posted some of the performance checkup and all these things and Apple had no option at all. They had to come out and say that yes, we are deliberately doing that. Now the reasons that they are giving is like battery issues and all of that. Now this is of course debatable that somebody can say that hey, you could have replaced the batteries and could have handled the situation like better. Uh, but again, there are other sides of the situation that Apple might be thinking or might not be thinking, but whatever the case is, they were downgrading our iPhones and this went out as an outrage in the people and things went completely in the wrong direction. So yes, this happened. Now, what impressed me about Apple and some of you might be calling me Apple fan just by saying that I'm impressed by Apple. So whatever you want to say. So the thing that impressed me is this release note. So I was reading out this release note of the Apple, which is on the Apple's official website is a note. And there is a very interesting word here. I would keep the link in the description below. So go ahead, read that out. And on the very like fifth or sixth line, it says uh, something I would like to read out aloud. We know that some of you feel that Apple has let you down. We apologize. Now, this is a, is a starting point of something great. Because when a company or when a person is is like having so much of guts that he can just say out loud that we apologize, this is a big move. I wish really most of the other companies or other people could have come out and say for some situations that we apologize. It could have been a changing world situation. And we all know that uh, some of our politicians really need to say out, come out in the loud and say, we apologize for some of the statements that we made. But let's not make this video uh, like a political statement here. Uh, but really, I like the move that it says that we apologize. And really, I appreciate the Apple's move here. Uh, but yes, to be honest, uh, this is not just dealing up with the situation. We apologize is not just enough. And yes, Apple have made uh, that we are doing a couple of situations or things to handle these things. It would be the three-step process. First of all, they have slashed down the battery processing. It was like $79 and they have thrashed it down to just $29. Still uh, kind of a pricey, I would say, because the batteries actually do cost like around $10 or $12. Uh, charging for $10 or $12 batteries to $29 is obviously outrageous, but this is Apple. This is how you have to deal up with the situation. And they're also releasing a software update that will give you more idea about the battery uh, situation, what is in your phone. But again, uh, they didn't mention that we are rolling down the back things, uh, like we will be upgrading your performance and you can just replace the battery. No, they didn't say that. They just said we'll give you more information about the battery and we, we are working on improving your user experience and stuff like that. So yes, uh, no need to be happy that your, with this update, your phone will get a performance boost. Maybe silently they might want to do that, but I don't think so that's gonna happen uh, because it's a sale issue. So obviously just say out anything, it's a sale thing and everybody knows that the world economy, everything runs around with money. So I don't think Apple is gonna be performing or improving your performance of your device. But yes, uh, they will be giving you more information that how your battery is dying. Now this whole situation brings down us to a very important aspect. Now, before I move on to that aspect, I would like to mention a point here that I love Apple product and not the iPhone so much. I used to be a big fan of iPhone, but now I use Android as my daily driver. I think that there are better devices in Android right now. Uh, but yet again, uh, as you ask me as a software developer, I still love the Xcode compared to the Android Studio. Yes, I have to work in Android Studio as well because some of the clients do ask me to make Android apps. 
but the way how Xcode performs and the simulator of iPhones just performs so smoothly and so fast, I love this. I really don't want this company to see the downfall because they are doing so great. Saying that, now let's go back onto the aspect thing. I really think there is something fundamentally going on wrong with the Apple. And this apology move doesn't really just straight up everything else. My biggest regret about the Apple is recently in the Apple conference and the release of iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever they call it, is Steve Wozniak. Steve Wozniak was there. I really wish that they would have given Steve uh, some minutes on the stage so that he can share some words, his thoughts about Apple, or maybe just in general, because the guy who is just a standing partner next to Steve Jobs really deserve at least a few moments on the stage when he was already there in your arena. So yes, really, that's a regret thing. And this fundamentally breaks down to the leadership quality of Tim Cook, really. Uh, obviously, I'm not in a position to say anything about it because I'm just a small guy who is just recording a video, uh, seeing in a camera and just like that. But yes, uh, this is how the things are going up. Uh, the leadership is being questioned because the recent moves of Apple, how the things are shaping up, how the PR is working for Apple, everything is questionable a little bit. Their products are awesome, their laptops are expensive, but again, they are performance-wise really awesome. Coders love them, designers just absolutely love them. And I really want this company to grow up. It's not like I'm bashing them or I'm just being an Apple fan. I'm just putting out the facts that are reasonably good. So yes, these are my thoughts about Apple. On to a very last note, I would say just a uh, link is in the description below about the statement that they have put out. Go ahead, definitely you should read that out. And it's something that we should all look up forward that when you make a mistake, it takes a lot of gut to come out and say, we apologize, Apple did that, really a salute to that. We all should learn from it that sometimes we do make mistake uh, with friends, with families. Uh, we should definitely look forward to be humble and just say that, yes, this was the situation and I'm not proud on that. So really a good move there, Apple. Uh, at least you are, you are sending out some positivity to the world, really. Thankful for that. So that's it for this video, sharing some thoughts about the Apple's recent move. And in case you are new to the channel, uh, don't forget to catch me up tomorrow, Saturday night live at 10 o'clock, according to Indian Standard Time, IST. It can be a little bit hard for the guys in the US, but yes, I will be available live to answer your questions, to solve out your problem. So don't forget to catch me up tomorrow, Saturday at 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Catch you up in the live.